Radioactive material has been detected in seawater around Japan's Fukushima plant with concentration levels 240 times higher than safe limits. Scientists warned that the element strontium is highly dangerous to humans as it can accumulate in bones and is believed to cause cancer. Artist Sean Thomas has been to Fukushima City to measure radiation levels. Here we're 80 kilometers away and the radiation levels in this area in many, many places, in many instances, are much higher, they are actually closer. Because if you look at a map of uh, where Fukushima City is in relation to uh, the actual nuclear facility, that's plant number one, where a lot of that radiation uh, is em emanating from, the winds are bringing that radiation in to Fukushima City, and the rain and the wind is blowing the radiation this direction. So we were at a spot where the radiation levels were 1,000 times what is considered to be a safe dosage. So uh, very, very dangerous levels. And so scientists that we are working with today uh, from uh, different universities are working together on projects to try and figure out ways to use simple methods to actually clean that radiation up. and. These guys, actually, I can show you. These guys are working to deca decontaminate the soil right now. And as you can see, these two gentlemen aren't wearing any protective clothing, but the scientists are. So one of the concerns is is that you can actually have a one spot which it's only 30 times the accepted normal levels and then you go to another spot which is just a meter away and it can jump to 500 to 1,000 times depending on where rain, water, and mud have collected. One of the concerns, of course, is that grass is uh, considered a filter uh, for nuclear radioactive material. and who are drawn to grassy places, when they go to those areas, they could actually be absorbing more radiation from the grass as well. So uh, what's interesting is this area that we're in right now is considered a safe area. It is not considered a mandatory evacuation area, but authorities are looking into to see whether it should be considered evacuation area, or at least hotspots within the city should be evacuated because of these very, very high micro places, uh, these small hotspots, if you will, where the radiation is just off the charts.